morning and the beautiful message which each one of you have come for. Is the entire universe is working for each one of you. Today, if you are here, there is definitely a very strong energy which is there to give you a lot of favors. I wonder what favors are you looking at, but the reply is very simple and clear that there is a beautiful energy and lovely favors which are happening in your service. You deserve absolutely incredibly the light you bring in anyone. All those who are here unawareingly do not know that you are light workers and you have been are the chosen ones. You are thinking that you're here because you want to learn something. No, we actually would be receiving and giving back equally. So it is a great pride to have each one of you here. So uh, get convinced that you are a miracle. The message is that believe it or not, you have come here on this planet. Because the planet right now really needs a lot of happy energy. You are a miracle and it matters that you're here to their love. Every step you take from this day onward will definitely make you move towards a different energy. A little about angels in my experience, which I started incidentally when I was going through my morning messages today, I got this channeling and then when I Went through my own angel group, I saw that I started my group almost about the same month, this month, it completes two years. I have a lot of people to say thank you to those who were with me all this while. My journey started with angels in 2017 um, when I moved from Jodhpur to Udhampur. Most of you don't even know where Udhampur is, but those who are aware of the northern part of the country, would know that Udhampur is a base camp, is almost like uh, Srinagar is a basically a base camp and Udhampur is a transit camp for all the soldiers who uh, start their journey from uh, for Kashmir. So it's high on infiltration and we have a lot of uh, terrorist activity in Udhampur all the time. So I remember my first incident 2017 when I started my journey. It was a very lonely place and I had no one to talk to. And I did not realize when I started speaking to angels. There then at that minute, the complete world was full of uh, connectivity and uh, connections. I have some very beautiful friends like uh, for army friends who would very well relate to this journey. So for me to connect to anyone normally also was a challenge. Be beside uh, giving the WhatsApp messages, it was a challenge. So I started reaching out to multiple people, asking them to connect me to angels because I had heard that there is something called angel posting. I went through a lot of uh, resistance by multiple things in life, be it a nature, be it my own personal fates, because we North Indian believe in Jew baby puja and we believe into other pujas at all. So it is very natural for people not to accept you with this kind of a journey because these kind of miracles uh, do not take places in, in people like our lives. But then I was very, very sure that I'm leading into a journey which is different. To have commonly get replies, seeing numbers, seeing the feathers, Somebody telling you something to feel a touch on your back, to feel a touch somewhere around your body is a very common feature. There are times when we feel that the phone suddenly wakes up in the middle of the night and there is a message which is flashing for you. What is it? They are angels and do believe in them. They are with us. You're going on the road and you feel you're going to be alone and what happens? What if somebody comes and snatches my purse away or does something anything wrong? These are angels. This is exactly what started happening. In the middle of the night, I would listen to some very beautiful Sufi music and I would go all around walking on site alone on the campus roads. The sentry duty will tell me, himself, this is not the right time to move around because after six in the evening, Udhampur used to be dead. And I would say, No, Bhaiya, koi gana gara tha, bohat sundar gana gara tha, apne suna, and I would say, No. I would go to my husband and ask him, Apne gana suna? He would say, no. But why would this? That I would listen to these songs and nobody else would. I would suddenly have beautiful fragrances around me. I would have somebody ringing up the doorbell and I would find feathers on my door. There were times when I would even see flowers. There are times when I would ask, because as I said, Udhampur being a 
uh, place where you would not get anything after six o'clock. It used to be dead energy, and there I would see somebody sending me an ice cream because I actually asked for an ice cream, and I would be I would be sent to that, and I would just you why how come this ice cream is coming to me? But all this is a very very simple thing. All this was because there is some power which is happening at the top, and it kept flowing through it and because the more you get into it, the more you get these guys. There are times when you sit alone and you don't have any friend to talk to and you feel that there is an energy you want to talk to, I would get all my replies. I would get replies through uh, mails, letters, people calling me up and things started happening for me. People had their own groups. I requested multiple number of times, many people multiple times that please let me also be part of your group. Nobody actually thought of taking me in. And I'm not feeling bad. It's because I was not a chosen one. It is because I had my own will and I, I had my own journey to follow and to mark. So I said, okay, angels, if this be the case that I nobody's taking me on, I kept praying for about two years. Two years later in 20. Uh, 18, uh, my husband got a uh, Wi-Fi installed and uh, I could get a personal connection. Wherein the neck was not so bad and I formed the group. From 2018 till now, I have an angel group where we host the angels because I never wanted my angels to go back. I very, with very loving and fearful manner, till date, I ask people, do you want to be part of my seva? Because I like it. Because you can be hold it, we just hold them next to us. And we, we host them with great purity. I have a lot of friends here, uh, especially my angel group people. Thank you so much for standing with me. For two years, I have Lavji, a very cute kid, who got into this journey with me and she stuck to it. She would not go away. I have Shubhi, Meeti, Madhumita, I wonder if she's there, Shruti. And now there are so many of them who are there. Those who actually stood by me and then they said, we want to be part of this journey. We have phenomenal, uh, amazing results which come from them. We don't say that they create a miracle, but they definitely unlock us. They definitely give us replies. They make us walk in a beautiful journey. I don't say you join my club. I say wherever you are, what you are doing, please be part of that journey and love them. I wanted to create something for them and do a seva. That is the complete purpose of this today teaching session. My guest on list today, not taking it any further and completely uh, taking away the charm of the evening, is Siddhi and uh, a word about Siddhi. Siddhi is a healer herself, a very, very angelic human. And uh, she is one lovely person who is kind of full of uh, energy. Siddhi, if you could unmute yourself and please come uh, up. Full of energy. She is into angel healing, angel therapy. She conducts multiple classes, holds a lot of sessions. Today she's going to take you on and teach you how you should invoke uh, the right kind of angel for what wishes. Because uh, see, as I said, I started my journey on a very, very innocent note. I was not even aware how to put up prayers together. Now we have a proper PDF. We now tell you how to do it properly. Uh, we guide you how to bring these angels home and bring the energy into your house. But back then, two years back, we actually weren't aware that how to host them and how to bring the energy into our houses. So today, we, uh, uh, so Siddhi very generously came forward to support the boss. And she said, I'm going to be teaching all these beautiful women what kind of uh, lights, candles and diyas can actually bring a beautiful energy into your house. What kind of angels can you host? What kind of angels are there? There are archangels and there are angels. And how do they protect us? How do they help us manifest? How do they bring this energy in us? And what do they do? So here I welcome Siddhi, uh, a magical human. Where Siddhi, over to you now. Please take on. Just a minute, Siddhi, I guess. Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can. Thank you so much and thank you everyone for finding this time. I think it must have been your angels calling that you were able to come and make yourself available at this particular hour. 
and it's it's very beautiful to know how mridula had that kind of a journey she fought her way through and her angels helped her likewise when you build a connect with your angels you will be able to fight your way through whichever could be the area of uh, your choice so for some people it is relationships for certain people it is money for certain people it is harmony so lots and lots of changes and lots and lots of troubles we all are having in this particular phase that is the lockdown phase and that's that has been challenging that has opened up new challenges in people's lives at this point of time it is at the most important for each one of us to have a connection with a higher spirit with a higher energy who is willing to help us who is willing to work with us and who is willing to guide us answer us for all of us since we all are connected with the angels what else could be better than this this is our calling and that's how we all should answer and remember and call upon them today i will be talking about five angels that are ंग विद and when it comes to uh, praying them or getting something from them or getting your prayers heard they've absolutely helped me and i can vouch by them because i have had an experience with each one of them uh going forward uh, what are these angels who are guardian angels who are archangels is a hierarchy into all the angels we as you all must be already knowing and you all know that we all are born with at least two angels these are dedicated to help us these are dedicated to guide us protect us these are our guardian angels from the time we are born to the time we pass over and even beyond that uh, in certain cases they are always with us always always with us so these are the angels who are dedicated to us on this plane of existence that that is plane number 3 there are angels there are higher beings that are more powerful than guardian angels and these are archangels who are in a higher realm they come to you they listen to you when you call upon them the idea is to start establishing a connect by invoking their presence all right and on top of archangels also there are other angels like cherubs and seraphims who are also on the higher realms they are and then after them is the god most high the supreme power the white light uh, is where it resides so the idea over here is to call out to someone who's higher and yet who's more accessible and that is the reason why we always end up calling upon archangels Now this one thing um, that I always pinpoint to all my students uh, when they are working with angels is we know about Archangel Michael, we know about Archangel Samuel, Archangel uh, Raphael. A lot of times, just to save our efforts, energies, and time, we end up saying, "Michael, please do this for me. Raphael, please heal my hand. It's hurting." Never do that. Always address them. by their names or by their prefix that is archangel they are archangels it is always respectful to call them on by saying so first step of working with any angels is invoking their presence simply by calling out their name and having the picture in our mind in our third eye just visualize a picture of archangel that you're calling upon and be open to receive we keep your hands in receiving position that is both the palms facing towards the sky keep your mind open keep your heart open and that's what you need this is the basic requirement of working with archangels 
you don't need to look at the time you don't need to do anything else sometimes to enhance our prayers to improve our focus we go ahead and we light a diya we light a candle and maybe sometimes we anoint the candles with certain oils and herbs we will come to that in a bit but first let's go ahead and talk about these archangels there are so many archangels now if you are everyone i like to give examples from hindu mythology because that is something we all have grown up uh, listening to and that's how i'm going to make a correlation here as well so there are 33 crores devi devtas right likewise there are so many archangels so idea is not to know their names idea is not to know about each and every archangel that there is but there are certain archangels that are very powerful that are always readily available and available to help the idea is know about five know about seven but build a better connect with them that is what will help us uplift ourselves lot more so we first angel that i'd like to talk about is archangel michael now if you see the picture here it is reflecting a little but in one hand he is holding a sword and in the other hand he is holding a shield now what does it mean it means that he is a protector and also a defender he cuts out negativity from your life and he also shields you from any kind of harm so when do you need to cleanse yourself when you need to protect yourself he is someone you must must should call out to i have had so many number of incidents when i have had clients jinko nazar lag jati thi i have had friends who needed protection i have had times now this is definitely the time the trying time when you need to protect your businesses you need to protect your house you need to protect your aura most important most importantly in times like these call out to archangel michael i hope everyone's with me and getting what i'm talking about yeah okay, okay. lovely now this is about life this is about protection this is about cleansing what more do we need in our life what more do we need in our life is relationships isn't it so who do we call out to when it comes to relationship is archangel shamuel he is the one who helps you build better relationships who helps you heal when there is no forgiveness in a relationship when there is something that is going a miss when when we all are vibrating on different pages and we need to bring certain kind of synchronization certain kind of harmony who gets it for us including the feeling of being loved the first relationship we will always always have is the relationship we have with our own self So, Siti, that means that Archangel Shamuel also helps us getting marriage. And oh yes, are... yes, yes, yes. See, look at him. How peaceful and calm his face is. I'll tell you what. It's not only uh, for people who need a new person in the life. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to stop you because I got too excited listening about. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's okay. It is also. I have worked this out. Okay, if you have anything. that you've lost maybe it's a ring maybe it's a new ring maybe a book you're not able to find just call out to him and see how beautifully you will be able to find it one fine day i had lost my ring i had practically checked my entire house every corner for three times and i could not find it finally i said archangel shamuel please help me find it and i rested for a while because i had surrendered my worries now i'm coming to point number 2 when you working with angels you need to surrender your worries to them that means the time you're spending on worrying every day the time you will spend in remembering them 
you've surrendered your worries to them they will take care of it have that faith and i surrendered so sorry to intervene you know, this is this is the cute side of you that you're talking about them and surrender but if uh, most of us look at validation so what happens is when we host angels all of us we look into validation that's a basic nature of a human so what happened with shemuli also have an incident that you lost the ring and i wanted to test so what did i do i said okay if you are so great so i'm going to be placing this ring somewhere and let me see how do i get it back i actually took his name and i did not know when did i put the ring where it just vanished then for about almost about four days i kept telling him you be naughty please give me my ring back and eventually after six day i got my ring back so it is because i wanted to take a validation that you're there so it's like we all know we all love to take yeah we all love to do down carry on you see my validation came through this also so yeah. yeah i like to go through surrendering so see how it happened i as i told you i checked my house three times okay yeah. and my bed is usually clean clear the minute then i started looking for it again it was sitting next to me my ring was on the bed next yeah. to me yeah. oh my god <laughs> oh my god so it sort of gave me goosebumps at that point of time but yes see yeah. you get validation that way absolutely so yeah that is absolutely yes your bang on in, in fact when i started learning about angels uh, pridula in fact i still am a woman of logic something has to sit right in my mind so i the way uh, you wanted validation and you must have tried them tested them yeah. when i started seeing numbers i asked for words when i started seeing words i asked for something else and i kept doing it for a while and yeah. i must have pleased them so much but yeah they uh, between me and them it is so nice that they have more patience <laughs> than what i am because then i can go on teasing them like that <laughs> no no we all do that okay so yes now when we have relationships we also need money isn't it we need money we need to establish a connect with our surroundings with everything else now the archangel that helps you connect with all your surroundings the nature also happens to be angel of abundance there are variations into angel of abundance but for me she is the one she is archangel ariel she is the angel of prosperity how and why she is the one who will help you if there there is an animal who is in distress there is something in nature so people who are in the habit of growing plants try this out ask archangel ariel to spend some 5 minutes to nurture your plants go ahead and see how beautifully your plants will start growing you know it is going to be a very very beautiful journey for you apart from that because she is the one who is connected with the abundance of nature it's very easy for her to give you could you repeat the name please for others once again could you repeat the yes, name it is archangel ariel ariel if you could spell it out they write it down for prosperity it's a yeah a for apple r for royal i for india e for elephant l for london ariel this is an angel for prosperity people yes so we've spoken about so far archangel michael the protector and the defender the one who gives you a beautiful shield second angel we spoke about angel of relationship and lost items that is archangel shamuel in a lot of cases when people have broken out from the relationship have also mended the relationship with help of archangel shamuel there are certain documented cases like that and this is archangel ariel the angel of prosperity most of all what do we need is good health health is our wealth so like this i have to cover i am sure all of you know but this is archangel raphael the one in green robes the one who's a powerful healer 
okay that is archangel raphael anything that needs healing it's it's not limited to your health only your aura needs healing your emotion needs healing your thoughts need healing your inner child inner child needs healing what is it that needs healing you just can think about it and start praying to archangel shamuel he is a master healer and he is one of the angels every healer loves to work with to enhance their own healing powers yeah I'm so sorry. Till where were you able to listen to me? Yeah, the last one. It's the last one. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of times you will see that the angels come. the The picturization of angels is like a very soft face. Uh, sometimes we are not able to make out whether it is a face of a lady or a face of a guy because the face is usually very soft. it is said that angels are neither women nor a man basically they do not carry a body they do not carry a body hence they are not a, a female or a male energy they are light beings they are supreme powers they do not have physical bodies like us and that's why uh, we need some kind of training and order to connect with them we need some kind of help when we go ahead and work with them so, so siddhi do they have uh, do they have symbols also as particular like uh, archangel michael has a symbol so all these five angels today we are taken up if you could tell the tell the crowd that if they have symbols particular symbols if they deal with so what i i will talk about is the symbols that we are able to see here yeah. apart from that i'm not getting into zebu symbols so i no no we not taking out yeah we not talking about zebu symbols we we'll only speak about how the symbols with the yeah yeah i so how do you identify usually archangel michael is one of his hands would definitely 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 be a sword and if it is a sword and a shield it has to be archangel michael usually some of his aura in pictureization will be in purples and blue see here the shield is blue his wings inside are purple his energy is blue and purple yeah so that is archangel michael when you see archangel raphael who is angel of healing usually shown in green colored robes let me see if i get one more picture of him i'll show you like see here this is also archangel raphael yeah, this is most uh, yeah this picture can be seen on the pinterest or google people you can google it and see the picture they are available yeah. and he is holding the school of healing in a lot of medical uh, places when you see two snakes just moving around and then facing each other Particularly, so there is a disturbance. There is a disturbance with your this thing. If you could just move a little back. Oh, is it my phone? Yeah. Sometimes it happens when you come a little closer. Okay. So, if you see, this is your phone. Okay. Anybody? I mute myself, Siddhi. Just to mute all, please. You need to mute all actually, and then I'll. Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Okay, just a minute, people. Just. I'll just mute all. Okay. Siddhi, now unmute yourself. Yeah. So he holds a stick or a wand. if you would have visited some doctor's clinic you would have seen a stick and around which there are two snakes and facing each other the symbol of healing the symbol of medicines i have forgot the word but this is what he holds i don't know whether you guys can see it here yeah yeah arch angel ariel who's the angel of animals and angel of abundance sometimes is seen with a lion because she 
is so soft but her energies are that of a lion she is also connected with nature forest and things and sometimes she is connected with pictures of money so Here this you month, see so this august month is a month for her city because it's a lion gate opening yes <laughs> So this it is lion gate. Yeah, it's lion gate. Yeah. Yes. If you've noted down, I'm moving on to Archangel Samuel. Usually seen with a lot of symbols of peace or heart shaped. You will see him with pink colors and calmer face, heart symbols, symbol of peace. Here he's holding a dove. So it's a symbol of peace that is archangel shamuel for you see i will show you a, one more picture of archangel michael see he has blue colored wings again over here he has a sword and in one hand he has a torch mashal to bring in light into someone's life now comes one of two of my most favorite archangels i'll be uh, giving you information on one more archangel that will be extra beyond five is archangel metatron if you see there is a geometric pattern here with archangel metatron you usually end up see seeing a lot of geometric pattern especially a hexagonal cube he's holding between both his hands like this or like this he is the angel who's the angel of geometric patterns and he's also the angel who helps you who gets you help from different realms different dimensions so when you also go ahead and check certain records which are not in this dimension he will help you go and reach there and get your records something like past life records so archangel metatron is the one who gets you help from different dimensions in fact let me take two more this archangel sandal fun he's the one see he's usually seen with a cup like this because he's the one like they could you spell it out for people because people are finding it difficult these are new yeah, letters yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sandal fun is s for sidi a for angel n for nandi d for delhi once again a for angel l for london P for Pune, H for Hyderabad, O, and once again N for Nagpur. So, like a goblet-like cup, he's seen with because he's the angel who takes your prayers and delivers it to the supreme power, and he gets his blessings and showers it upon you. So, whenever you want help, but getting your prayers delivered to higher people he's the one in one last archangel gabriel that one's my Who's, favorite huh? yes usually seen with a wand or usually seen with so much of light she's the she's the messenger the true messenger of god in a way whenever you're not understanding what do i do you need guidance you need much more than guidance that point of time all you need to do is call upon archangel gabriel she helps you to find out exactly what it is that you need she helps you to understand exactly what your path that there is and you must take so any confusion in life she is the one who can solve it brilliantly for you any time you need to take your life's review any time you need to go ahead and work on something that is very very intimidating for you she's the one you should go ahead and call out she'll also fill you with a lot of courage 
Uh, yes. So it is said. Could you could repeat? Uh, could you repeat Archangel Uriel again? Or Shivali missed out. So it is Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay. So no, Miss Archangel Uriel. Can you please repeat Shivali says. Yes, Shivali Archangel Gabriel. What I was talking about, okay, is she's the God's messenger. That means she delivers messages or gives you guidance in the true sense. So sometimes when you don't know what step should you be taking, you don't know. I am stuck between four roads, and I don't know which one of these four do I go ahead and take. There are times when you simply don't understand. Whether life, the way life is moving is right for you, not right for you. You need more courage. You need to deal with life's review and so much that you need to figure out inside you. She is the one you should call upon. She will come and help you. She'll help you clear your mind. If you're indecisive, she'll help you clear your indecisiveness. So I hope you understood what I was talking about. Yeah, thank you so much, Siddhi. You can take on. And people are waiting to know how now we need to pray them. Yes. So I put very simple steps to have you go ahead and pray. Um, in our school, we would have known or learned about how to write a letter. Okay. We put a date. Okay. In our mind, we are not right now putting a date. But we, we say, dear so-and-so. Then we put a line of subject. Then we put a story to it. And then at the end, we, what we say, we are looking or we are waiting for your positive reply. Mm -hmm. And then we say, thanks and regards, Siddhi. Mm -hmm. Now, let me put it in a prayer format. In this, what I do is I start by invoking angels. That means I say, dear Archangel Michael or Archangel Metatron or Archangel Sandalphon, whoever you wish to work with. Then I just put a subject saying that please help me with this point of time. I'm also establishing myself. If I want to put my name, I will put my name here only. That I'm calling out to you. Please help me with. So if I need help with my finances, I will say please help me with my finances. This is just one line just that I've given first. This is my subject line. Okay. Then I go ahead. You mean first we need to write an intent. First we must write an intent. And we say that this is my intent. Yes. So if supposing it is the finances, we must be very clear that we only need to write about finances. We can't be writing, I need finances for myself, my husband, my child, my brother, my sister. We need to be very specific that it is Very us. specific and clear. Yeah, because then you are diverting your energies. What she's yeah. saying is absolutely right. Because then... I will also ask for this. I will also ask for that. I will also ask you making him or her also run around for almost everything and not focus only on one thing. So first of all, set your priorities, right? What you need the most in life. So after that, you go ahead and say that this is what it is. If you need to get into the specifics of maybe uh, for certain people, it is money stuck somewhere. For certain people, it is growing and getting a promotion in life. For certain people, it is starting a new business. In certain people, a uh, yes, Rashna, you can call to two archangels at the same time. For certain people, it is something else. So tell your story in a nutshell. Then you thank them in advance. This is what I do. This is my little Shana Bacha technique. I always call it a Shana Bacha technique. That I tell them that I know you're going to do it. You know, I know you're going to yeah. get me a chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. and I ensure that this, this gets done. And then I thank them in advance and this is all about it. So whether I'm praying them sitting right now or I write them a letter. In a, and what, I, what do I do with the letter? Is I fold it. I put, I put a stand or a plate on top of it. In which I'm going to go ahead and light a dia or light a candle. Yeah. So that my wishes reach out to them through this light, through this dia, the flame that is going upward and connecting with them. How wonderful. So are okay. you going to be telling us what dia are we going to light for whom? Yes, yes, Great. yes. So usually when you work with Archangel Michael, 
so I- i'll tell you about everything together yeah. but angel wise so archangel michael usually has the aura and the color of blues and purples and if you remember that that's enough for you because for him you can go ahead and light a blue candle at any given point of time if you don't want to be stuck with specific colors white works for all of them don't worry so there's no need to go and picking up the candle you can just simply create an intent and burn a candle right and that can be a white candle and call upon him if there is not a blue candle available yes okay. yes you can go ahead and make a diya of sesame or mustard oil okay sesame is tilka tel also yeah tilka tel yes. right. tilka tel ya raika tel raika raika okay. tel yeah so this is an option to your blue candle and the white candle So people, the, huh, I am sorry to interrupt okay. because people are asking too many questions. So people to make it more clearer for those who are unable to listen to Siddhi, tel ka tel ya mustard oil ka diya bhi aap jala sakte hain in case you do not have the blue candle. Take on Siddhi. Yes. Ha. So again, aisa zaruri nahi hai. One more thing before I proceed. Aapne ek letter bana diya hai. Keep the same letter till the time your wish is completed. and keep lighting keep the plate also the same keep lighting newer candle or newer diya on top of it theek hai so the same letter you can continue using it the so day i of, so the next question i i'm sure people are going to ask you is ki kya wo candle band karna hai ki aaj wo jalaya to pura din jalna chahiye ye bhi bata okay so yeah so don't blow your candles out candles ko kabhi karke band nahi karna either you need to go out and safety will become an issue so either you light your fan so the candle goes off on its own ya fir you snuff it take something else and put on top to apne aap hi candle bujh jayegi okay fir aap jab bhi wapas aaye aap usko fir se light kar sakte hain okay yes you can go ahead and put the tea light candle also so what you're doing is you're going to go ahead and write a letter उसके ऊपर आप स्टैंड या प्लेट रख रहे हैं और उसके ऊपर आप कैंडल या दिया जला रहे हैं तो आप टी लाइट कैंडल यूज कर सकते हैं आपको सिर्फ दस मिनट बैठना है तो आप बर्थडे कैंडल भी यूज कर सकते हैं इफ यू इफ यू डोंट हैव एनीथिंग जो टेपर कैंडल्स आते हैं जब लाइट्स चले जाते हैं वी यूज इट यू कैन गो हेड एंड यूज दोज वाइट कैंडल्स दैट्स एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन मोर लेयर टू इट बट सो वेन इट कम्स टू कैंडल ब्लू इज आइडल पर्पल इज आइडल but you can also go ahead and use a white okay now when it comes to diya ab tilka tel yani ki sesame oil ya to fir mustard oil yani ki rai ka tel use kar sakte now on your candle or in your oil you can go ahead and put a few drops of lavender oil if you have it don't stress agar nahi hai to koi zarurat nahi hai stress karke lane ki your prayer is what counts the most your connection you are trying to build with him is what counts the most he is going to look at your intent so put a few drops of lavender oil in your diya in your uh, on top of your candle so you can just rub some oil onto the candle and light it for him the really love it when you make your prayers very very fragrant so along with that if you want to go ahead and put some incense that is very beautiful it will lift your aura your mood up and it is also it is also going to work as an invitation to your angels so we are clear till here okay now uh moving to archangel raphael the angel of healing So as I said, usually he's seen in green color robes. Yeah, for him, you can go ahead and light, particularly a white or a green candle. So here again, if they do not have a green candle, they can actually do with a white candle, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, white in a green candle. अगर आप दिया जलाना चाहते हैं, go ahead. and put ghee ka diya and now what ghee ka diya ye bhi explain karo gai ka ghee ka diya shuddh gai ka desi ghee ha <laughs> desi ghee ka okay gai ke desi ghee ka diya bhi yeah 
And if you wanted to put some essential oil for his spell, you can either use vetiver, that is khas, or you can use agar wood. Agar wood or sandal wood bhi chalega. Moving on to Archangel Ariel, Angel of Prosperity, Angel of Nature. Unke liye jabhi bhi aap candle lagaye, yellow lagaye ya white lagaye. Put a yellow or a white candle. And yellow is for abundance and money? Yes, and success, yes. Okay. Okay, and when you put oil for her, you can use olive oil. You can use sesame oil as well. Tilka tel ya jaitun ka tel ap istamal kar sakte.